The word impossible seems to be absent from SpaceX's vocabulary. After building Starship, the world's most powerful and largest rocket, the company is now developing an even bigger next-generation version, doubling the size of its predecessor. This isn't Starship V2 or V3, but an entirely new iteration, Starship 4.0. So, what does this next-generation spacecraft look like? And why does SpaceX need such a massive rocket? Starship, designed by SpaceX, aims to be a colossal, fully reusable rocket system capable of reducing costs and facilitating frequent flights to Mars. Since 2019, Starship has been gradually taking shape, crafted from stainless steel and reflecting sunlight at the launch site in South Texas. The rocket is designed with aerodynamic fins for navigation on Mars and a heat shield for reentry into Earth's atmosphere. It's meant for frequent voyages to support a space-faring civilization. When SpaceX introduced earlier versions like V2 and V3, they showcased incredible innovation. These versions weren't just bigger in size, but also boasted impressive payload capacities. V2 could carry up to 100 tons, while V3 extended that to over 200 tons. The company clearly surpassed the competition, but they don't plan to stop. Starship 4.0 is poised to make even more waves in the space industry. One of the key features of Starship 4.0 is its size. Elon Musk hinted at a design with an 18-meter diameter, doubling the width of its predecessor. This upgrade would surpass the Saturn V's 10-meter first stage and the Soviet N1's 7-meter diameter, making Starship 4.0 the widest rocket ever built. It would also have a diameter twice the size of the smallest Orion project design, which had a 17-meter diameter and a mass of 300 tons. Doubling the diameter of a rocket quadruples its area, resulting in four times the cargo or passenger capacity. Imagine launching an entire space station in a single mission. However, such an increase in size would require proportional increases in fuel and structural weight, demanding a significant boost in thrust. The current super-heavy booster, powered by 33 Raptor V2 engines, produces 230 tons of thrust, already unparalleled in terms of liftoff capability. To support an 18-meter-wide Starship, SpaceX might need over 130 engines, though the thrust of the Raptor 3 engines could be increased to 280 tons or even 300 tons, allowing for fewer engines while achieving the necessary thrust. Elon Musk might also introduce a new, more powerful engine to reduce complexity and maintenance. So why is SpaceX pursuing such a massive rocket? The answer lies in their ultimate goal, colonizing Mars. Establishing a permanent settlement on Mars will require transporting massive amounts of cargo and thousands of people. Musk's vision involves launching 1,000 starships during each 26-month Mars transfer window. This ambitious plan will necessitate thousands of orbital refueling missions, a logistical challenge that a bigger starship could simplify. An 18-meter starship could carry four times the payload, reducing the number of starships required for Mars missions from 1,000 to just 250. Similarly, the number of tanker flights could be cut down by over 3,750, possibly eliminating the need for orbital refueling depots. A larger starship would also streamline moon missions. Building a sustainable Mars colony requires not just people but also infrastructure, habitats, food supplies, and equipment. A larger starship would enable fewer launches while ensuring that everything needed for long-term survival on Mars is delivered. Moreover, an 18-meter starship could deliver an entire lunar base in a single flight, accelerating efforts to establish a permanent human presence on the moon. The next-gen starship's immense size and capabilities would redefine space exploration. However, Building such a large rocket also comes with several logistical challenges. First, there's the issue of structural integrity. Bigger rockets need stronger materials and more advanced engineering to withstand the stresses of launch and space travel. Additionally, transporting these enormous structures from the manufacturing site to the launch pad presents challenges, as roads, bridges, and infrastructure may not be designed to accommodate such massive cargo. Specialized transportation methods, like ships or custom vehicles, would be necessary. 
Second, the manufacturing and infrastructure requirements would need significant upgrades. SpaceX's production facilities, such as the ones in Boca Chico, would need to be expanded, and new machinery would be required to process bigger components. Launch infrastructure, including towers and transport systems, would also need to scale up to accommodate larger rockets. Finally, there are the economic considerations. Building larger rockets involves substantial costs, manufacturing, upgrading infrastructure, and solving logistical challenges. Balancing these costs with the potential benefits of enhanced mission capabilities will be crucial for the long-term viability of Starship 4.0. Interestingly, the idea of a massive rocket was not originally conceived by Musk. In the 1960s, aerospace engineer Robert Truax proposed a project known as Sea Dragon, a massive two-stage rocket with extraordinary dimensions. It would have been 121 meters tall and 22 meters wide, significantly larger than Starship 4.0. The Sea Dragon was designed to carry 550 metric tons into low Earth orbit, surpassing even the mighty Saturn V. Unlike conventional rockets, Sea Dragon would have been constructed in a dry dock, like a ship, and launched while partially submerged. Its first stage would have been equipped with an inflatable aerodynamic decelerator for reentry, a concept that SpaceX has embraced with its reusable rockets. Although Sea Dragon never moved beyond the conceptual stage, its groundbreaking design emphasized reusability, which SpaceX has championed. The project was shelved due to a lack of demand for such a massive rocket at the time. However, had NASA pursued missions to Mars after the Apollo program, a super-heavy rocket like Sea Dragon could have been the perfect solution. Its potential was extraordinary, with the ability to launch entire space stations or Mars-bound spacecraft in a single mission. While Sea Dragon is no longer a practical consideration, its legacy continues to inspire those dreaming of a future where humanity reaches beyond Earth. Even if Sea Dragon's grandeur is relegated to science fiction, its idea pushed the boundaries of what was possible. Just like Sea Dragon, the future of space exploration might one day see humanity ascending from the Earth, reaching for the stars.